Hotep Sagittarius, welcome to your Lover's Abyss reading for the month of February 2021. I am Cosmic Divine Tarot and Sag. This here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith signs. Now, if it resonates with you, then go ahead, hit that like share subscribe to the channel hit the bell notifier to know when i will be uploading new messages for you my darling now if it doesn't resonate with you then don't worry about that sag just come on head back and let me get you another message okay now sagittarius if you'd like to donate to my channel the link to the cash app and my paypal is in the description box below and i certainly will appreciate any donations that you can give me my darling all right, now let's get into your lovers of this. I'm going to set this off with the love oracle cards number three. All right, Sagittarius, I shuffled a hundred times and I pulled you these cards. All right, now the first one you got is strategy. Strategy, my darling. Strategy says. Have a game plan. Implement daily routines that support your goals. Be clear about your decisions, Sag. Okay? So be clear about what it is that you want, my darling. It says, uh, leaving space next. Now, give yourself time to heal. Right one can't come if the wrong one is there. Clear a jaw for them. All right? And then it says, uh, grass is greener. Passing up options, too quick to decide, take time to know them. Uh, gratuity changes circumstances. So my darling, this is telling me that you have to be very strategic and have a game plan in order to give yourself the time that is uh, needed to heal from a certain heartbreak that has transpired or is going to transpire, okay? Because the, wrong, the right one in your life cannot come if the wrong one is there. You have to clear or draw for them, which means to clear out the clutter of your mind. Like, you know, don't hold on to past memories or past things that happen uh, between you and this person. Um, you know, you have to uh, clear up everything that you have gone through with this person if this person has wronged you if you uh have been with this person for many years and it's like you're just used to being with them or you're used to having them around or you're used to talking to them you're used to making love to them it's like you know you have to clear a jaw and heal from this person because the grass is greener somewhere else okay with somebody else and it may just be time to let this go sag now here you have the lover's oracle okay i shuffled a hundred times and i pulled you these cards right here my love first you have surrender okay now <clears throat> sagittarius when we take a look at the the back of this card i can see that there is hearts and different parts of your body here okay these hearts represent pain centers all right so you may have pain uh in your side and your shoulder and your thighs or in your lower leg or even in your arm right here okay you may get headaches and whatnot because these are the places in where your body has stored pain that you have felt from the person who you're with or the person who you're not with maybe this is a long distance relationship now it says surrender here at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go all will work out all right now it could be also that you have to let go of this person who you're dealing with in order for this person to get their act together in order for things to work out with you and this person now let me see um it looks like you two may be very close here, all right? Looks like you're very close, look like you're very much in love with this person. Now, if you have to let this person go, I know it's not going to be easy in the least because look at all these hearts around here, but it says right here, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your overstanding of life and love, my darling. Okay, now we have this card here. 
Sagittarius, yes, it's time for you to go ahead and go and and purify. Purify from uh, what has happened between you and this person. Purify from the past actions of, you know, the past fighting or, or the past, um, even the good memories. Purify from them or purify from the bad and hold on to the good. Now, it says, you may not always overstand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed, okay? So, you have to surrender to being strategic, to leaving space inside of yourself or opening space inside of yourself in order to receive this person in your life because the grass is greener with them or to receive another person, okay? And it's just like, it's going to be very hard if you have to let go of this person because with the, um, with the dark mirror here, I, I, I can see after pulling this card after shuffling a hundred times that this is the queen of your world, Sagittarius. Okay, or the king of your world. All right, this person, you are very much in love with them. You see them as the ultimate treasure, the most beautiful, handsomest, sexiest person that you know you could ever encounter. And we're talking about physically, mentally, emotionally. This person just is like somebody who you just see yourself with for a while, okay, or the rest of your life, even Sagittarius. But, my darling. I don't feel that anyone is meant to stay in anybody's life for the rest of their life. I mean, we have to part some ways. We have to part some type of way. However, you ain't trying to hear that. So let me put this down right here. Let me go ahead and uh, get you the um, Roya Dark Tarot. Yes, baby. This person, if you have to let them go, Sagittarius, you're not going to understand why you have to. I feel that you do have to for this person to go ahead and get their act together. You have to not just let go of them, but you have to start dating other people. You have to go and try to make yourself a life with somebody else, not go and, uh, you know, just call yourself being strategic and, and wait for them to come back. No, baby. When you let go of this person, such, it's time to let go. Of this person it's time to start bringing somebody else on the scene to fill up that space that you just had to clear out all right let me get you one more shuffle yeah Sagittarius it, it, this is gonna be a hard one baby but you can do it you can do it baby you can do it we got this card right here okay this is uh, the the knave of Pentacles the knave of pentacles. All right. As you can see, she has a, a weapon in her hand. And the look on her face is like she is about to do something that she does not want to do. It's like or go in a place that she doesn't want to go. Okay. Or just let go of somebody who may be standing in front of her. Okay. And it's like she's telling this person that she got to go. But they're not letting this person go. Okay. So it's like maybe you got to put your defenses up in order to be able to get away from this person. All right. It's like maybe this person is just uh, as addicted to you as you are to them, Sagittarius. And they're just not trying to let you go, baby. Here we go. We got the um, the six of wands. Okay, so you're standing there looking at them, telling them that it's time for you to go, right? You're standing there looking at them, but they're standing there looking at you. They're standing there looking at you with their with their uh with their defenses up being quite um stubborn about you leaving. Okay, like what I don't know what the heck you think you're about to do, but I'm not letting you go nowhere. All right, because it could be that you are also the queen of this person's world. Now here we got the uh, mm, strength, Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. Look. Look at this. Look at this, baby. Look at this. Now, this person, you got this daggone knife right here in your hand right here. This person standing in front of you acting like they ain't trying to let you go. So, now you got the knife at their throat. Now, my darling, the knives are communication, okay? It's not about an actual knife, but it is like a, a communication. Like you are verbally uh, 
being, um, you know, set that you're about to leave. You're not about to let this waver. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to get away from this person right here. You love them very much. You love them very much. So this is the reason why you have to really be strong, Sagittarius. You have to be strong to let this person go because they are just like, you know, standing here uh, defenseless. Like you have their heart in your hand, their soul at your feet. Okay, so it's going to be very difficult for you to let this person go. And I'm, I keep emphasizing on difficult because I just feel the... the <laughs> I feel it. Now, here we got the uh, the Tarot of Sexual Magic, baby. Okay? So, I feel this person may go ahead and start using some of that sex magic on you, Sagittarius. I feel that they're about to go ahead and, uh, you know, turn this bad boy around because uh, you really are verbally saying that you just cannot do this anymore. That, yes, you love them. Yes, you uh, wanted to be with them. Yes, you, but you just feel that this is not something that can happen you don't feel that this is something that is good for you something that you can continue on okay you don't feel like this is oh you can't just keep going with this person like this you have to have um some type of happiness this person can't just continue being the the king or queen of your world because you have to be the king or queen of your world you can't keep letting this person make the decisions for the relationship because at times you really are very unhappy Okay, so you have to just go ahead and move on, baby. You have to go ahead and move on. It's like you can't just keep standing here like this. No way can you keep going through this. So it's like, you know, this daggone strength right now is you are being very uh, strong, vocal, vo vocally strong in what it is that you're saying to this person. And this person may be vocally strong. It could be the opposite way, baby. It could be them saying this to you. It could be dumb with this knife to your throat, okay? What, well, I'm talking about verbal communication, not an actual knife. At least I hope not. But, um, you know, it could be dumb telling you you ain't going nowhere. L look, look, look at this. Uh, four of, four of um, chalices, Sag. Four of chalices. Okay, you at the door about to leave. You but you wait, waiting for your Uber, waiting for your Lyft, or you waiting for somebody to come pick you up. Or you're just on the phone with this person telling them that it's time for you to go. You can't do this anymore. The four of chalices is you don't want this love anymore. Okay? That's what you're communicating. This person trying to talk to you, trying to bring you back to them. Trying to bring you back to them and telling you that, listen, you know, they love you. They're begging you to stay, Sag. They're begging you to stay. And they think also that you got somebody else. That's what they're asking you. They're begging you and asking you to stay. And they're also asking you, do you got somebody else with the five of us wands here, okay? Because in the back of their mind, they're imagining you laying up with somebody back here, okay? Laying up with this person, having all types of sex. And it's like, man, they, uh... They can't, they can't see that happening. It's either that way, Sagittarius, or you're not trying to hear anything this person had to say because you found them with somebody else and you just like, you ain't trying to deal with it. It could be that, you know, you just like, um, you came home and saw them in the bed. This person's leaving or you're leaving the house. This person trying to stop you at the door. Now here we got, uh, the fool right here, but you packing your bags and leaving. Okay, if it's that situation, Sagittarius, for those for those Sagis that came home and found their man or their woman in the house with somebody else in the bed, you leaving that house, okay? This person, uh, you know, mm, trying to stop you. But, I mean, that's just for a few of you. That ain't for all of you. For a lot of you, it's just that, you know, you feel that this person is just not somebody who uh is a right match for you you feel that this person and you just need to go ahead and part ways in order for you to have some type of uh you know peace in your life because this person has just taken up a lot of your life just a little bit too much now here's the uh four of wands okay so this person is standing in your way sagittarius standing in your way from leaving they're they're uh they plan on being very victorious over you so therefore they sit you on them or you know what i'm saying uh they just get behind you okay or or they sit on you, okay? There's somebody who wants to go ahead and have sex with you, so they want to go ahead and be uh, balls deep inside you, baby, okay? And it's like, uh, wait a second. You're like, um, 
I'm trying to get the heck on up out of here. And the only thing you can think about is sex. What about anything else? What about what about my heart? What about my soul? This makes me think that you only want to be in the bed with me. You only want to have sex with me. But here's the two of chalices. So this person lays you out on the floor after having you on the couch or on the chair like this. Then they lay you out on the floor. Start kissing you and everything. Start talking to you about how much they love you. Start, you know what I'm saying? Telling you that it's not just about the sex, but they love you. They want to be with you. They need you, okay? You know what I'm saying? It looks like, um, yeah, they're under the blanket. They're under the blanket having sex with you right here, okay? So it's like they're not just talking about sex, but sex is big for y'all. Sag, the sex is real big for y'all. So because this person sitting up there talking about they love you, you go ahead and let them go ahead and have sex with you. You let them go ahead and knock it out with the daggone seven of pentacles. This person went ahead and went to work on you. Okay. I mean, they started pouring out their heart and their soul and kissing you and sucking all up on your tongue and everything. And it's like, you know, you're like, okay, well, you know, you let this person go ahead and wear you out. Sagittarius. You let them wear you out, baby. You're like, oh, well, this is not the time to leave. You had to go ahead and surrender this time, okay? You had to go ahead and surrender because you may have been trying to leave this person for a while. And it's like, you know, you haven't been able to do it. And finally, you was firmly set on getting the heck away from them. But it's like, you know, they went ahead and put it to work. Okay, boom. Here is the uh, three of pentacles, okay? So while you verbally talking, okay? You verbally at this person's neck. Like, I don't want you. I hate you. I'm getting out of here. I don't, I, I, I don't want this relationship anymore. You know, whatever, okay? So while you up there or you're leaving, this person uh, go ahead and have you up against the wall. You may be up against the wall with your legs closed right here. And they're forcefully trying to open them with the three of pentacles. Okay, by kissing you, by rubbing on your body, by, you know what I'm saying, by, um, by talking to you and stuff like that, trying to get you to go ahead and open up your legs because you are so set on leaving. Okay. Mm. Well, Sagittarius looked like they went ahead and dominated that with the, uh, Knight of Swords, baby. They were just too strong. They just won this round. Okay, Sag, they won the round. Uh, they got you on the floor, baby. Okay, you was right here up against the wall. You said, I ain't even trying to open up my legs to you. I don't want you. They started kissing on you. You know what I'm saying? You like mm -mm, moving away from them. They started rubbing on your body. They started, you know what I'm saying? Slowly but surely, you decided to go ahead and open up them legs. And when you did, baby, that's when they got you on the floor right here. Okay, and this daggone whip that he got in his hand is the wand the phallus and they're using it right behind you right now okay so sagittarius just like i said just had to go ahead and surrender baby here's the uh the knight of swords so while your friend outside waiting for you or the uber or somebody outside look like a family member um came to see if they was going to come ahead go ahead and bring you back to their house or bring you to some other place they come up to the daggone window to see if you're ready to go and you're in here with your clothes off uh, about to go ahead and um do all kinds of nasty things to this person who got you on the floor who had you bent over before now okay now they want you all up on this phallus okay or all up in that kitty so it's like okay your family member is like well i guess i better get the heck on up out of here because i guess they're not going no daggone well okay saggy you went ahead and surrendered okay and went ahead and surrendered so i guess this family member or your friend or whoever it could have been a third party out there waiting for you but they looked in the window like oh shit okay you know hey <laughs> all right sagittarius <clears throat> I see you. I see you. Okay. Well, if that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Because you in there getting your groove on. You tried to fight this person, but you just couldn't, Sagittarius. You couldn't because you in love. Okay. You couldn't because you in love. Now, you may not always understand why these things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through the turmoil of you trying to leave this person, a blessing will soon be revealed. And that blessing is um, this person bossing up and uh, 
doing whatever it is that they need to do to tell you that they love you, to knock you out on the couch, on the floor, you know what I'm saying, to stop you at the door, to let you know that this person loves you because I'm thinking that you thought maybe they didn't. Maybe you thought that they didn't want to be with you. Maybe somebody, maybe there's somebody like to keep their emotions on the inside, okay? Now, if I haven't said the signs, you're dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and an uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sagittarius, all right? That's who these people are. And these people are not about to let you just go ahead and slip through their fingers. They're about to let you, you're going to have to go ahead and surrender to this person because they're like, listen, I love you, Sagittarius. I'm in love with you. I'm crazy about you. I cannot let you out of my life. Even if it's just a conversation over the phone, this person may come to you. Get right here. See, they're imagining you with somebody else. So they packing up their bags and getting the heck on up out of wherever city, state, country they in. They're coming towards you. They're like, no, I cannot let my Sagittarius go. I will not. Mm -mm. To somebody else, no. And as soon as they get there, baby, they're at the door. Well, you know what I'm saying? Their bag's at the door. And as soon as they get in the house, they're trying to make love to you. They're trying to knock you out. They're trying to pour all of their emotions into you all the love that they have like you know they're just talking to you the whole time damn near about how much they love you how happy they are to be with you you know what i'm saying and you just went ahead and surrendered baby you just went ahead and surrendered when it comes to love there is no right or wrong sagittarius so don't even think that it's wrong for you to surrender to this person because you love them okay you love them and they love you and love is all you need okay <laughs> now Sagittarius this has been your reading then go ahead and hit that like share um, <laughs> go ahead hit that like share uh, I can't even think my mind went <laughs> I gotta go man I gotta go uh, okay it won't even come out <laughs> It's like it won't even come out. Um, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, look, I got to go, y'all. I got to go. You know, congratulations on this love, Sajik. All right? Peace, love, and light. Hotel.